Hello and welcome. So continuing off my Doctor Who reviews with Series 10, Episode 12, The Doctor Falls, the big finale of the series and quite a lot to live up to because obviously, you know, the, it ended so greatly in the previous episode. I loved it. Um, every single second of the previous episode, as I've, I've said. Uh, so yeah, you know, I was quite excited. Now, I'm just going to say it right now, this will be a spoiler review. All of it's going to be spoilers because A, it's going to be hard not to try and spoil it. B, I kind of forget I've just probably spoiled something. And C, I want to talk about the spoilers because that's probably the best bits about the episode, obviously. So, yeah, um, first of all, I'm just going to say I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was another um, cracker. I think this has been an absolute brilliant series, to be honest. I think Capaldi's been great. Matt Lucas really quite shining in this episode. Some really good stuff from Matt Lucas. Pearl Mackey, obviously what's kind of happened, she kind of got, you know, side glance, I guess, but I like some, I like the scene where she thought, and I kind of thought, alright, okay, she's kind of fine, I think, maybe now, but, and then it turns out, oh no, she's, she is still, and when she gets to the mirror, I thought, it was really nicely done, but overall, yeah, I really liked, um, I want to actually kind of first obviously talk about um, John Sims Master and Missy together. I thought they were beautiful together. Some of the stuff is really great when they're dancing together. I loved that they were flirting with each other. I thought that seemed very appropriate and felt very quite real. And I really quite imagined John Sim probably flirting with Missy. Don't understand why he wouldn't. So, uh, and I liked that. I liked that he brought that, the laser screwdriver. I liked that kind of stuff. Like, wee moments. I, I liked that they did that. I liked his overall look. Because there was something I kind of, I thought to myself where I was like, God, he actually kind of looks like Capaldi. And then I thought to myself, wait, he actually kind of looks like David Tennant when he was in his series. You know, David Tennant, he was wearing a suit and tie, much like what David Tennant wore. And this one, he's got the black boots and the coat. It's even like, there's even like a shot where he's walking, like how Capaldi used to walk in Series 8, which I quite liked. Um, and I'm going to say it right now. I am so glad that Moffat didn't change Missy is actually the Rani. I am so glad he didn't do that because there is so many people out there that are still against the idea that the Master can be a female. It's an absolute joke, frankly. And I am so glad that Moffat didn't listen to those ridiculous fans and went, no, yeah, yeah, that's just because the Rani is only female. It's like, who cares? I wish this subject would stop now with Doctor of of the, the odd concept of a female. Look how great Missy has been. She's been fantastic and people really like her. I really like her. I think she's great. I also like John Sim as well. I think they're both great. But together, they're, they're even amazing. Um, and I, I love that and I'm glad that you didn't do that. I'm really quite glad. A little bit gutted we didn't actually see the Masters TARDIS. I was, I was getting myself a little bit too pumped, I thought. Um, Oh, are we going to see it? Maybe it might, it might appear in the Christmas special, I don't know, because it did kind of end. It didn't really kind of... I love that scene, them two together. And that is how I just I thought those two were going to go. They were actually going to end up killing each other. Because it's th this, that was a good reason why more masters together doesn't work. More doctors together works, because they're actually, you know, intelligent by rights of... They wouldn't, you know, they're not evil, where... More masters together? No, they're 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 not going to work well together at all, and it kind of showed that. And I thought that was great, really. And um, how they done all that kind of uh, that that scene was really great for me. Still good. We didn't see the TARDIS. Don't get me wrong. I would have mind seeing the Doctor's TARDIS, probably all in red, because that's evil, isn't it? But um, yeah, uh, they might maybe do something. I don't know the Christmas special. Possibly, I don't know. I would I would quite be into that maybe, but. Um, yeah, overall, I, I, I really, there's some really good stuff in here. I like the little kind of um, wee bits of the companions when they're kind of like, you know, saying Doctor, try and push the Doctor along. And, you know, obviously this is going to be a bit of a different regeneration where uh, he doesn't want to, you know, regenerate, which is is, is sometimes nice, you know, because um, obviously Matt was very much like, no, oh, let's, let's get it going, you know, that's, you know, should always, you know, appreciate who he is, but... You know, she keep on going forward, and so I guess it's more like in the Terence side, where it's like he was very much like he doesn't want to kind of change and all that and go. So, um, though I'm preferring the way they're doing it with Capaldi, where he doesn't want to change. Terence always sounded like a whiny boy when he was like, "I don't want to go," and he's greeting and all that. I was like, "Oh, really? That's that's how you're actually that's your last line. That's how you're going to end, really." But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking. Um, some of the stuff. I was quite sad as well. Like seeing him when he was with the stick and he was struggling to walk. I was like, oh god, I'm, I'm not going to last long in this episode, am I? Uh, but, you know, overall, I really enjoyed it. The Cybermen are... There's a big problem I had with the Cybermen. It didn't make sense to me. Because, right, you had the, the old Mondo, uh, Mondasian Cybermen. And I, uh, they were great. I loved everything about them. And then suddenly you had the new ones in. The, the latest ones. 
Um, which, okay, made sense to me because they were like saying, oh, these are like the, um, uh, the, the latest kind of model. These are the, 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 the very upgraded and powerful ones. That made sense to me. What didn't make sense to me was having the Russell T. Davis Power Universe ones. That, that made no sense to me. It's like, oh, right, okay, so you have the full powered ones. Why even have them? That seemed, they seemed quite useless, really useless, Christ, out of all of them. They, they were just like standing about getting exploded every couple of seconds. Um, so I, I don't know how I felt about that, really. I was a bit like, mm, that really was just fan service there, really. But, oh, you know, overall, I really I thought it was a great finale. Um, Rachel Talia, I'll probably murder that name. Her name's actually on that screen right there I was about to watch of a video over, and I still kind of seem to... Talia, Talia, there we go, Rachel Talia. It's a great name uh, and great director and the direction style of this episode is superb. She is one of the best directors has been in Doctor Who uh, and I'm glad she obviously she's coming back again for the Christmas special. Because um, that Christmas special I think is going to be quite something special because obviously at the end of the episode the first Doctor appears uh, and I must say David Bradley really is chewing up that scenery. I thought he was brilliant. Like, I loved him in um, that special where it's actually probably one of the very few things I actually like Mark Gatiss that wrote um, was that Adventure in Time and Space. Ironically, not a Doctor episode. Uh, and I thought David Bradley was great in that. He seems even better in this, to be honest, but he's actually by rights. He is officially now the first Doctor as well. That's three different actors that played uh, the first Doctor. It's quite crazy, actually, a little bit. But uh, yeah, he looks great, so it looks like it's going to be a fun finale. I hope, though, that it doesn't distract of Capaldi's actual final, you know, moments, hopefully, you know, um, but overall, you know, I'm looking forward to this Christmas special so much now, I cannot wait for it. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you hear it? Comment down below. Tell me what you think. More videos in the future. So, until then, see you later.